Hello. Today I finally got my 44991 Harbor Freight Mini Mill. Got it. Uh, FedEx dropped it off a few minutes ago. So I thought we'd do an unboxing and uh, see how big of a pain it is to set this up. So let's see what it entails. Got this metal banding crap. Not sure how much it weighs, but it wasn't terribly light. So I'm pretty excited to get this. We've actually already got one, but I wanted another one in one of my other workshops. So this will kind of be our second one. Sorry about the noise. I got a 3D printer job going. This whole box just appears to be kind of stapled together, so. a big fan of Harbor Freight stuff, but the uh, the mini mill has uh, the mini mill. It's, it's the same mini mill as a Grizzly or any of the other ones. So it's kind of tested. I mean, it's decent. So we got a couple parts here. Wrench and some instructions. <laughs> here it is. Sweet! Oh my good god. It is covered in like well, Cosmoline, which I guess I should have expected that. So it has definitely got some uh, Cosmoline and it looks like a little bit of assembly to it, but not much. I mean, it's pretty much all together. Oh my goodness, geez, they just piled it on. They do not want this sucker rusting. I suppose sitting in the sitting at the harbor at Shanghai or whatever. I don't want it to collect any rust at all. And it, it actually looks pretty nice. What I'll be doing uh, here fairly soon is I will be converting this to a belt drive and uh, adding uh, digital readout to it um, which will make it even more useful. I thought about converting this one to CNC but realistically I've already got uh, several CNC routers and a CNC mill already so I just wanted a manual mill and got this one on uh, they had this one on sale, had like a Labor Day special for 30% off or some crap, so that's why I got this. So let's see what the hell we all got here. And uh, see if we can unbolt it. All right, so I just wanted to give you a close up show what it looks like in the box came with this little package of uh, 
miscellaneous crap. Oh, yes. A little squirty thing for oiling, I guess. I don't know. I always wanted one of those. It's like some tea nuts. Some miscellaneous bullshit. Oh, yeah, one of those. Thank God. All this has got a layer of oil on it because, you know, plastic rusts. So, yeah, I guess that's handy. You know, it does come just, it does come shipped with a chuck, which is super useful in a mill because, you know, every mill should have a chuck. I mean, that's usually I would think for drill presses, but what do I know? So, it's essentially a expensive drill press with an XY table right now. But I will be uh, turning it into something that should be pretty cool. So I'll see here. Yep, it does come screwed down to the wood. And as you can see, it is full of Cosmoline. So we're going to have to get that all wiped down and cleaned up. Yes, it's kind of locked down somehow, I'm sure. I'll have to screw around with it a little bit. But, uh, so it looks like, well, these are probably, the, yeah, the handles right there. So, a little bit of prep work to get this thing ready to go. I'm really excited to convert this over to belt drive. Because we have broken these gears before, and they are a pain in the ass to replace those gears. So, I'm kind of... Looking forward to doing that. A little bit of difference between this and the Grizzly, but not much. This is, of course, is central machinery. Oh, okay. That's not a uh, Harbor Freight brand at all. I mean, everybody's heard of central machinery. So, that's uh, what it looks like coming out of the box. Of course, in here is just nothing, just crap. And then over here, we've got a whole big... Look at that. Instructions and in... what's this? Limited 10-day warranty? Oh, one-year, 90-day warranty. Look at that. Totally useful, because I would want to spend all the time shipping this back. Probably spend more money shipping it back than... Oh, look at that. Fancy spancy safety. You should always, always have safety stuff. So yeah, we'll totally be installing that OSHA. So anyway, that's uh, part uno of getting my mill set up, and uh, I will. I'll make another video when it comes time to install the DRO and all that fun stuff Look at this giant spanner which this thing came with what the hell did you use that thing for? I'm assuming this is millimeters, 36 36 millimeter wrench thank god I've always needed told myself many times if only I had a 36 millimeter box and wrench that was covered in cosmoline that would save my day I'm assuming you must need it for something yep right there in the back there's one nut that takes it that's all I'm going to show for the unboxing the rest is going to be pretty boring just uh, lots of wiping down with uh, probably like carb cleaner or something to try to get this so it is oil free and then uh, putting it on my bench and then uh, we'll come back we'll make another video when it comes to uh, installing the uh, digital readout and um, we'll do another one for the belt drive kit so thanks for watching subscribe Instagram is EJ underscore maker toolbox Dustin's not here today he already went home for the day so uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.